Hey YouTube, welcome to the second to last or the last refurb on my camper, my Sportliner A-Liner. And uh, tonight I had to fix this electrical because when we went camping I had no electricity on the outside. And on the inside, where the air conditioner used to go, the plug for that was dead as well. But they're both fed off of the same line that goes around and uh, connects to the plug that's over here, which I had moved earlier. So now uh, I put it back together and everything works just fine. So the electricity part is done. And now for the bed, I still have not done the air conditioner, but I'm going to share you with that. Uh, the bed itself, to make it a little bit wider, as you can see, I've moved it out. I don't know if I can zoom out a little bit. And I uh, got myself some piano hinge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more foam on the outside this is a little too small i've got some from an old bed but this is a piece here that will be piano hinge so it would hide like that while it's piano hinged and then the bed itself will come out to there and uh, I don't know if I'll bring it up a little bit higher or maybe actually fold it all the way down so that it, it can tuck further in. But it's it's out of the way. And as you can see, I've got about seven inches. So I went to the hardware store and I got myself some 3 8 five way five ply plywood. And uh, it's good and stiff. So when we're ready to camp and I want my wider bed, I will just simply pull this out like so. And then this piano hinge piece here will just go down like that. And then the back rail foam that I have will tuck down. And then I'll have a nice wide bed. That's what it will look like with the finished piece over there. So once that's done and the air conditioner's in and we have new cabinet coming for here, which will be stackable. The cabinet's going to be 12 inches and come up to the height of there so that when we put the camper down it won't be in the way and then there'll be a shelf across that cabinet and across the refrigerator and that will be our new cooking spot and i'm tempted to stack the shelf and have a second one come and go up as tall as we want to make it well as tall as anything can stand inside of here so like a freestanding thing would go on top of that but that's yet to be seen and uh, I also fixed this, uh, wanted to fall down all the time because the Velcro is worn out. So I just ran a wire through there up there at the top, but it's holding it for now. So we'll come back with a little bit more information on the air conditioner and the piano hinge. One thing about piano hinge, you just want to make sure it's good and straight on the line. And then I'm doing plywood and it's not as important for splitting wood. But these screws here uh, will do a whole lot better when, to have something to grab if there's a hole pre-drilled. So, a little hole pre-drilled will help those screws to ha have a good hold on that uh, plywood. And so I'm almost done. One thing you have to be sure to do is have patience when putting this piano hinge in. There are a lot of screws. And you just need to have a little patience and it's best to do it right the first time. I mean, I could cut back and do every other hole and probably be good. Notice I didn't over tighten that. Since I did do a pilot hole, it doesn't require extra tightening. But uh, if you ever do piano hinge, I highly recommend you put all the screws in first time. Do it right the first time. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the new bed that expands using the same mattress without making a new one. But the extra seven inches is back there and it has piano rail. So all I got to do is grab the bed, slide it out, drop down the piano rail. And I now have a seven inch wider bed course still got to do the foam once that's in 
we go camping. Anyway, uh, the leftover air mattress bed cushions that go around the outside actually fit perfect. So I now have a bed. Woohoo! And did you, find you like my bed, Zoe? Did you